Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial by Setsail Studios. Today I'm going to show you how you can place text behind an object in a flattened JPEG image. So in Photoshop, go to File New and name your document and uh, select the size that you want to make your image. Um, press OK and then open up the flattened image that you want to use. Press Ctrl or Command A to select the entire image and then Ctrl or Command C to copy that image. Head back to your project document and press Ctrl or Command V to paste it into your uh, document. So if you use the marquee tool, uh, just right click and press free transform and then you can hold shift and drag any of the corners of the image to resize it and then move your mouse to the center of the image uh, and drag it to, to the ideal position. Once you're happy with that, just press enter uh, and then head to the text tool and select a uh, white foreground color from the color swatch. Click anywhere in the document to type out your text. Um, you can resize it in the characters panel uh, and you can reposition it just by clicking anywhere outside of the text and uh, dragging it into position. And repeat this process uh, for any extra lines of text. Once your text is ready, I'm going to select one of the text layers in the Layers panel and then hold Shift to select all three of them. Uh, right click and select Rasterize Layer and then right click again and select Merge Layers. So your text is all sitting on the same layer. And I'm just going to rename that layer by double clicking on the text in the Layers panel. And I'm just doing some last minute positioning. Uh, tweaks. It's a lot easier to do it when the text is all in the same layer. So I'm just using the marquee tool to right click and free transform and just uh, resize it and get it in the best position with regards to the objects that you want to put it behind. So if you add a layer mask to the text layer just by clicking on the little icon which has got a little circle within a square at the bottom of the layers panel. And now we need to fill in that layer mask um, which will be used to hide the text behind the objects. So select the brush tool and then in the in the drop down menu in the top left hand corner uh, if you click the little arrow and then choose one of the hard brushes uh, you can resize the brush by using one of the square, square brackets on your keyboard and just make sure that your uh, foreground color is set to 100% black. And that means anywhere we click will add a mask to the text layer. Um, so effectively it's um, deleting these areas, but you can press Command or Control Z to uh, undo your lettering, or you can actually press X to flip the, the color swatch um, to use a white foreground color to uh, reveal the areas that you previously have hidden. So, I mean, you could just use the eraser tool to delete these areas of the text, but um, by using the layer mask, it's just more of a non-destructive method, and it means that if you make any mistakes, it's it's much easier to, to go back and uh, rectify those errors. Okay, so once you've removed those areas of text that you want to um, sit behind the objects in the image, uh, create a new layer to sit above the text layer just by clicking the paper icon in the bottom of the layers panel. Right click this new layer and select uh, add clipping mask, create clipping mask and this means that anything we draw on this new layer will be um, restricted to uh, the new text layer. So in this new layer I'm going to use it to draw on um, some shadows just to give a more uh, realistic effect to the text being behind the objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the foreground colour in the uh, tools panel uh, and that'll bring up a little colour picker and if you just choose the um, so click on one of the shadows of the eggs so that will give you the this sort of shadow colour that's being used um, in the image filter uh, and in this case it's quite a um, dark purple uh, and then I'm going to use the brush tool again, but this time I'm going to lower the hardness down to 0% and the opacity down to about 30%. And then use the square brackets just to increase the size of the brush. And then just click the areas of the text where the uh, shadow should be. 
um, and you can click multiple times to create a stronger shadow. Okay, so that's pretty much finished. I'm just going to do a last minute adjustment by clicking the little uh, black and white icon in the layers panel to add a saturation adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna increase the saturation a bit just, just so uh, to make the whole image a bit more vibrant. Um, and then just go to file and save it as a JPEG document and it's ready to upload to social media or to your website or wherever you want to show it off. So thanks for watching guys and as always please do comment below if you had any uh, questions and I will see you on the next video.